What a treat you're in for. We're here with Chef Adam Gertler. He's known for me, uh, from the Food Network, many Food Network shows, and Chef. FYI, Man vs. Child Chef Showdown. And a lot of kids kind of beat you. <laughs> well, actually, yeah, so yes. we have, on that show, yeah, we have the kids that cook against adults, but I'm just the master of ceremonies master there. Of I stand ceremonies. back and I let the kids do it because they're the pros there. Yeah, they are, and they're amazing. Uh, we're going to bring out uh, what you're making Good. today, really? and oh, I want to just boy, point oh, out... That he is back with another great recipe from his doghouse restaurant. Wow. Yes. And he is called a Versmacher. Versmacher. Macher, Versmacher. What did I just say? Uh, what is it? Versmacher is a real German made up word. Uh, Verst is the German word for sausage. Macher means maker. So uh, that is the, the, the title that one of the partners, uh, Andre Venner, who's a German, uh, gave me that title. But Germans actually do not acknowledge that as a real position. And I've tried to explain that to them. But they're like, it's, it means what you think it means, but it is awkward. The way it's oh, my God. Awkward. Awkward. Get it awkward. Yeah. Awkward. Yeah. Awkward. Exactly. awkward. It's not. But, so, yeah, it basically means I, I do all the sausages and hot dogs for all the doghouse restaurants. I oh do come up with all the recipes. Like these hot dogs here, this was a recipe that I developed in my very own kitchen. You made it yourself? Yeah, you could see all the, the spices in there. And now, now we make them uh, at a facility in uh, Southern mm. California. But I start all the hot dogs and sausages in We're small dead. batches in my very own oh kitchen. I smoke them in my backyard, Ooh. stuff them, do all the good stuff. Uh, but you became a chef partly because of your brother. Well, yeah, okay, so um, my brother and I used to do a lot of barbecuing. We got really into, like, running around. Just barbecuing, like, you're spending hours around a smoker, and it's very, like, just communal. Um, and then he got um, a notion to open a restaurant in Philly, and I was, like, living out here at the time. I'm like, hey, wait, I, I like barbecue. So I left. I went to Philly. We opened a restaurant together. Um, and then it was from that restaurant that led to me getting on the Food Network show, uh, Next Food Network so Star, great. and yeah. well, and you didn't actually stuff. win it, but you act, you got your own show. Yeah, no, that's what does great. Win no, really hey, mean? you know what? It does because American Idol. A lot of the winners who weren't winners went yeah. on to be like big I winners. Need the pressure of being the official winner. That's right. I, no, 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 it was, no, 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 it worked out great. You for are me, a yes. winner, especially now because everybody has loved all this. You just won oh me. Yeah. Yeah. What a man! Okay, yeah. amazing. Oh. You, well, right. you know, I know Jamie's like. Can I have some of the tater tops? I know. Right, this is a Grand Slam excited. dog. Very excited. And there are we showing a, a picture of the Grand Slam? Yet. No, we're not going to show that. But oh, that's oh, the Grand Slam right there. Slam dog okay, right so there. the Grand Slam is one of our dogs. Ooh. It takes yeah. the, obviously, from, from Denny's is a popular Grand Slam. So we have like our tater oh tots. Orly's losing bacon. her silverware and everything. Or no idea what's going on. losing her, literally losing her whole situation over here. But that's okay. That's the effect we have. Yeah. Well, they're eating an old town dog. Explain to everyone what that is. And we're going to be making it for If you've ever been to Los Angeles, California, we do a lot of bacon wrapped dogs they happen anywhere on any street corner you kind of wonder like how does really? the health department how, how are they allowed to do this yeah. nobody really knows uh, but here at dog house we make them in a very clean environment uh, so we start with a bacon wrapped dog and then this one has a lot of uh, excellent Mexican influences so this is you can do a version of this at home um, as I said this is my hot dog this is our recipe you can only get these at dog house restaurants but you can use your own hot dog I would you're gonna do this with me oh okay uh, just when you're getting a hot dog don't get like the cheapest thing you could get. Get kind of like get the more expensive. Get good quality hot dogs with whole ingredients. That's really important. So we're gonna bacon wrap because, you know, now we're taking two great meats that taste great together. Wow, that's all right. Like so a all we're wow. gonna do is just kind of roll it, overlapping just like that. I'm gonna do what you're doing. And you see, you can see it kind of it kind of holds on really well. But what we do at the restaurant sometimes is because bacon can tend to shrink when you're cooking it at a higher temperature. You skewer it right there, and that'll help it uh, keep it from shrinking. Now you want to put the toothpicks in sort of parallel. So now we're going to lay this in a pan right here. Ooh, wow. And you know it's working because it's going to start to sizzle. I love that. So once the bacon kind of sets on that first side, you can almost pull the, to the toothpicks out, and then you're going to roll them to cook them evenly throughout. Now another thing we do at Doghouse is we use uh, King's Hawaiian bread. These are Hawaiian dinner rolls. You've I seen love, them. I love it. But we I'm cut white. them in a way that we're not separating them into individual oh. rolls. So this is called our hot dog bun. Why do you, why not just a regular bun? By the way, I love the choice. Okay, because of strictly yeah. because yeah, of like flavor. Really um, sweeter too, it, isn't it's it? It's got a little bit of sweetness yeah. to it. Also has butter in it. So when this cooks up. We actually cook it, we brush a little bit of clarified butter on that. Now we use clarified butter, which has the milk solids, which can yeah, burn taken right, out. Right. You want the milk solids when you're making brown butter, mm. but when you're cooking something that can tend to go over a higher heat, it could burn. So uh, clarified butter has a higher smoke point. So you're just gonna brush that on and it kind of uh, recalls if you've ever had um, a lobster roll or something like that when they kind of 
griddle right. the buns like yeah. that. That's yeah. sort of oh. the effect you get. I wish you guys could smell this at home with the bacon. Yeah. Can, we, can we back up to the dog just real quick? Like, where yeah, do you please. find that higher quality? You can't get that at a regular. I mean, I think you'll find that most markets yeah. have, it. have a variety uh -huh. of hot dogs now. You know, a lot of the delis have good ones too. Like here in LA, Meat yeah. and Elf has the name. And the deli special. section, uh -huh. also. And in the, yeah. the deli section, yeah. If you find or any kind of butcher, always have the best hot dogs. Like we, I grew up on the Hebrew National hot dogs on the oh, East yeah. Coast. I grew up in New York, uh -huh. and I always knew the difference between the ones that had the natural casing that we would get at the kosher butcher yeah. versus yeah. the yeah. kind that came in the big packages. I always yeah. loved the ones yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that you'd get the casing from the yeah, exactly. Oh, um, so here. We can oh, see that one's getting dark. Yeah. But through the magic of the home and family, we have a little swap out action right here. Ooh, look, oh, at, look at that. that. Mm. Beautiful. So, mm. as you Let can the see, dogs we, out. you really? grill them up. Yeah. And that's, you know, that looks like when you make a great grilled cheese sandwich, right? Yeah. And you get that great yeah. butter toasted effect. Ooh, so, this is just yummy. a great, great thing to do. Now, we also serve our uh, hamburgers in these buns, but we yeah. just use four of them yeah. instead. <gasps> So we lay in the bacon wrap dog, and you just want to make sure the bacon's nice and crisp. You can do it in a pan. You could also do it under the broiler. You could also do it on the grill. You just want to make sure that the bacon is nice, crisp, and the dog is hot inside. What do you put on these puppies? All right, so for the Old Town, I mean, you could do, obviously, whatever you like here. But for the Old Town, these are grilled onions, okay? So we also just chop these up. We grilled them over a medium-high heat with a little bit of salt, also clarified butter. So they have a little bit of color, but they also maintain texture. We're not making onion mush. They're not, like, fully caramelized. They've got a little bit of bite, but they're nice and mellow. So we just kind of spread those over there. Then what, another thing we like to do in the restaurant is we pickle jalapenos. I, I put a recipe on the Home and Family website to pickle jalapenos, but you can certainly purchase ha pickled jalapenos. But pickling at home is super fun and it's really easy. You could also use a pickled sweeter pepper here if you don't want something spicy, right? So the, the, the pickling. I put jalapenos in my pickle jar juice. I put yeah. them in there and it makes it hot. Yeah, so you're yeah. doubling down, yeah, yeah. And, and then you'll also get a pickled jalapeno right, out of that. Right. That's a great idea. Yeah. All right, so we have the pickled jalapenos, the caramelized onions, the bacon wrapped dog. Then we take a chipotle aioli. Now, this is super easy to make. Um, you could just take a, a mayo. You could also use sour cream. You could use yogurt if you want to make it a lower fat option. Mm. And then we get the chipotles, not the dried ones. This is an actual dried chipotle, which is just a smoked jalapeno that's been dried. But I'm, I'm breaking into the display. Is that legal? No, that's that? fine. That? Yes, of course. You can do anything. Yeah, like She's on the way. Coming for you. These you can find in any grocery store. These are chipotles and adobo. And all you do is puree them, food process them, stick one them, and then you just make a smoky, delicious, creamy sauce like that. And I love smoke. So you have the smoke yeah. in the hot dog, the smoke in the bacon, and then the chipotle, which we just kind of go on like that. That's what we do at a doghouse. Mm. We just go like this. And then we finish it with a cotija cheese, which is, I like to liken it to like almost like a Mexican Parmesan. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's got a little bite like a Romano, and that's it. That's what we do as the I'm old town amazed. dog. Right yeah. I am amazed at Christina's discipline right now. Yeah, I know. Why I'm haven't gonna you gone in, in sooner? I'm going to cut it in half so I can. Ooh. And you'll see that, like, the King's Hawaiian is the perfect bread because it looks like it's a big bun, but when you bite into oh, it, it sort of just wraps around. Yeah, yeah. it so Whoa, dissolves nice. in your mouth. Oh, uh, yes. We get a thumbs oh, wow. up? <laughs> yes, perfect. Oh,